Anatomy and Physiology for the Beauty Industry, Blood and Lymph. Introduction, Blood and Lymph. There are many treatments we perform in our industry that stimulate the circulatory and lymphatic systems, creating various effects within the body. Because of this, it is essential that we understand the function and properties of blood and lymph. Blood. Blood contains millions of cells, chemicals and nutrients that enable every cell in our body to function correctly. There are many blood types such as A, B and O positive or negative and these are identified by differences in the red blood cells and antigens, antibodies for immunity. We have around 5 to 6 litres of whole blood which can be broken down into plasma and blood cells, red, white, platelets, nutrients and waste. Plasma. This mix of water, chemicals, nutrients, hormones, enzymes and gases makes up just over half of your total blood volume and is an off yellow colour when extracted from whole blood. It helps to protect you from infection and plays an important role in homeostasis, keeping the natural balance. Red blood cells, erythrocytes. These vital blood cells are formed in your bone marrow and contain the iron-rich protein haemoglobin. When haemoglobin mixes with oxygen, it creates the red colour of the blood. Red blood cells transport oxygen around the body for about four months before being destroyed and replaced. White blood cells, leukocytes. These very important cells are the largest blood cells and provide vital protection from infection. They do not contain haemoglobin and therefore have no distinct colouring. They are made within the bone marrow and a high level within the blood could indicate infection or illness. When the skin is cut and your body's first line of defence is broken, it is leukocytes that rush to the area to kill invading bacteria. As a result, you may see redness, inflammation and feel heat in the area. Platelets, thrombocytes. We need platelets for blood clotting or a simple cut would be catastrophic. They work together by sealing the cut and interlocking with each other. The blood becomes like a jelly and quickly dries out, creating a scab. Platelets are not full cells, they don't contain a nucleus, and are produced in the bone marrow, constantly circulating through the blood. Too many could create a clot, so a delicate balance is essential within the body. Tissue fluid. There is tissue fluid in between tissue, cells and blood. It acts as a go-between when cells in the blood or lymph are too large to pass through the tiny capillaries such as platelets and red blood cells. We'll discuss this again when we talk about the lymphatic system. These are tissue cells. This is tissue fluid. Blood functions. Blood has many functions, such as clotting via the platelets contained within it to prevent excessive blood loss, transporting oxygen, nutrients, hormones, waste and white blood cells to and from the required areas within the body. White blood cells also provide a defence from infection. It regulates your body's temperature, the body's water content and the pH balance. It improves skin and muscle condition by bringing nutrients and oxygen to the tissues while removing waste materials. Blood vessels. Blood is transported around the body in various types of vessel. Each type has its own unique characteristics needed to perform its functions successfully. These are arteries. Arteries. These carry oxygenated blood away from the heart and around the body. They are deep-seated, thick, flexible and elastic as they have to carry blood around at high pressure. These are veins. Veins. They carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart. They are closer to the surface than arteries and are thin and flexible as the blood is travelling at a lower pressure. Veins contain valves to prevent a backflow of blood. These are capillaries. Capillaries. These are very small blood vessels, one cell in thickness. They carry both oxygenated and deoxygenated blood and are branched all over the body. Blood circulation. So how does blood circulate around the body? The heart is the muscle that is central to the circulatory system and is responsible for pumping blood around the body. It is situated between the lungs in the thoracic cavity, chest area, slightly more to the left hand side. These are main arteries. These are main veins. 
The Heart, Part 1 The heart has four chambers and each is a contracting muscular bag which pushes blood through the heart organ. The upper chambers are called the left atrium and the right atrium. The lower chambers are called the left ventricle and the right ventricle. A central wall, the septum, separates each side to prevent oxygenated and deoxygenated blood mixing together. The heart, part two. The outer wall of the heart muscle has three layers. The epicardium, external, transparent, myocardium, middle, contracting layer, and endocardium, inner surface of myocardium. The heart also contains valves to channel blood through each area and prevent backflow of blood. These are the aortic, mitral, pulmonary and tricuspid valves. The heart, part three. The aorta is the largest artery in the body and the main artery of the heart. The pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. The pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from the lungs back to the heart. The inferior vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body back to the heart. The superior vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body back to the heart. Heart operation. Blood circulates in two circuits, one from the heart through the vessels of the body and back and the second to the lungs to remove carbon dioxide and replace it with oxygen. It is pumped from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle. From there it is pumped into the lungs via the left and right pulmonary arteries and returned to the heart via the pulmonary veins. It then travels from the left atrium and left ventricle through the ascending aorta into the arteries of the body. Blood pressure. Blood pressure is the pressure created on the walls of the arteries by the blood as it flows through. The top number is called the systolic number and is the force of the blood in the vessels as the heart beats and the bottom number is the diastolic, the pressure in the vessels when the heart is at rest, for example 120 over 80. When the heart fills with blood, it is in a relaxed state, known as diastole. When the heart contracts to pump blood from the ventricles, it is in the systole state. Lymph. Our circulatory system is powered by the heart and sends blood around the body to distribute necessary nutrients and remove waste. But did you know that we have a second system of lymphatic vessels and nodes that cleanses us of waste and protects us from infection? It isn't connected to the heart, so in order for it to flow, your muscles contract and squeeze the lymphatic vessels to push it through every time you move. They contain valves to prevent backflow of lymphatic fluid. Lymphatic fluid is clear and includes lymphocytes, a type of white blood cell, tissue fluid, plasma proteins, salt, glucose and urea. The lymphocytes found in lymph fluid are manufactured in the bone marrow and are called T-cells and B-cells. These are stored in the lymph nodes and the spleen and wait until required to fight infection. B cells produce antibodies that lock onto bugs which invade the body and mark them to be destroyed. They never forget an invader and will always have an antibody ready to attack it should it ever try to invade the body again. T cells. T cells can be divided into helper T cells which help the B cells to make antibodies and killer T cells that kill any suspect body cells that may be invaded by a bug to prevent reproduction. T cells and B cells are also known as T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Lymph nodes. We can think of lymph nodes as filters that pick out waste, invading bacteria and any foreign bodies, remove these from the lymph fluid to be expelled from the body and send the lymph fluid back through the body refreshed with antibodies and lymphocytes to continue fighting any invaders. Lymph nodes are tiny glands that you don't feel unless they're swollen, such as when the doctor feels your neck if you're unwell. Many nodes are in clusters in your neck, armpit and groin, although the lymphatic system itself covers the entire body. Your spleen, bone marrow, tonsils and thymus gland contain lots of lymphatic tissue. Lymph nodes, body. The main lymph nodes of the body are underarm, auxiliary nodes, elbow, 
supratrochlear nodes, abdomen, abdominal, iliac nodes, groin, inguinal nodes, behind the knee, popliteal nodes, lymph nodes, head and neck. The main lymph nodes of the head and neck are base of skull, occipital nodes, front of ear, preauricular nodes, behind ear, posterior auricular nodes, cheek in line with mouth, buccal nodes, angle of jaw, parotid nodes, under chin, submental nodes, below jaw, submandibular nodes, collarbone, supraclavicular nodes, neck, cervical nodes, 